welcome back to Old Volks TV. We're in the bus today. We're driving around. Uh, I want to show you something that's very interesting. So we had a big problem uh, with my shifter coming back when I picked up that rack. Uh, I kept getting stuck in third gear and that was awful. It's terrible. And I think when I uh, let the bus go on that rental trip, uh, I feel like the guy might have jammed it in third or something and, and bent that, that scat shifter. And it wasn't a brand new shifter anyway, so I can't really, really blame him. Uh, but nonetheless, I had to get a new shifter. So I had to stick my stock shifter back in there to uh, here. Uh, just so I could drive it around while my shifter that I ordered was being made. Uh, I got a really cool custom made shifter and I'll show you that in just a minute here. Um, but I want to show you the, uh, the throw of a stock shifter. You know, you can see up here in the corner really how far, and this one's not that bad. I've seen it a lot worse than this. Uh, but, man, the, just the throw from basically touching the seat to almost touching the dash you know, between the gears. It's really bad. It's rough. Uh, so I went with something uh, with a little bit shorter throw. <laughs> it's one I've really been wanting for a long time. Uh, but the, the price was prohibitive. And what's the old saying? Cry once and be happy later. So I cried once and I, I spent the money. I bought a, a good shifter and uh, it just came in today. So I'm going to go ahead and get it installed. And uh, I'll show it to you as soon as we get back in the driveway here. Yeah, okay, look at that. From next week into last week right here, now shifting into second. It's crazy. Uh, but what we ended up getting was this. This shifter is so cool. <laughs> Custom built, um, low numbers. I think this is number 251. Um, all billet construction. It's got a dual lockout. It's super short throw, carbon fiber knob, polished. Uh, this is actually the nugget. Uh, they call it the nugget. It's got a little gold pivot here. Uh, but I custom ordered mine with the uh, polished shaft and the carbon fiber knob because I think I am going to end up putting in my carbon fiber uh, gauges. I wasn't going to, but with that motor and the brakes and the way things are going with the shifter, I feel like, you know, having a carbon fiber speedo and, and a nice carbon fiber tack and that gas gauge and everything matching, you know, it, it's going to be nice. So, you know, we'll just do some minor upgrades, but I'll keep the original stuff so it can go back to original. <laughs> Um, but I'm going to put this bad boy in right now, and you're going to come along with me. And uh, you're going to see, it's pretty easy. Uh, you might remember from a couple episodes ago when we did the uh, shifter shootout uh, between the vintage speed, the stock, and the scat. Uh, the scat shifter was my favorite for sure. Um, I've always loved those in my buses. You know, they're sporty, they're short throw, the T handle with the reverse lockout is super nice um, until someone who doesn't know how to drive it wrecks it and uh, you got to buy a new shifter but this is the the current ultimate shifter from what I've heard these things are pretty sweet so we'll go ahead and get this in there and uh, I'll throw a link to that other video up here so you can see the other stuff that we did uh, with the other shifters but I mean by far this would blow all those shifters out of the water so uh, we'll jump in there and we'll get her installed and we'll take it for a ride and see how we do all right, first thing we got to do, get that old shifter out. Uh, so that's a 13, a 13 millimeter socket. Happen to have mine handy from all the times I had to fix it. <laughs> so I kept it up in the dash. If you push down on the shifter while you're taking the screws out, uh, you'll have a better time because there's that spring in there 
and it's trying to push the shifter up. Um, and it's going to ride on those screws. So, make sure that our shifter is in neutral. And we kind of push it down. This is kind of hard from this side. We're going to save all this hardware. Um, because you never know when you're going to need that stock shifter back. So the shift plate and the uh, bolts. You get the new one. The new one's got these Allen bolts, stainless. And then they hold them on with a little nut, so we can uh, we can discard the nut and just use the bolt because there's nowhere to put that nut on the bottom. That's just for shipping. Want to make sure that we take a little bit of our oh, it's already gooping out of there. Gross. Stuff is nasty, but we want to just take a little. Just a little dollop of that, not too much. And we want to put that just kind of on the ball here, uh, just so it doesn't get stuck. You know, you want it to, to move around nicely in that socket. So just a little bit right around the outside like that. Careful, because that stuff is messy. So we got our paper towels. Wipe those fingers off. Move that nasty thing out of the way. That stuff's so gross. Not as bad as gear oil though. Gear oil is the worst. Alright, so we take the shifter here. I don't know if you're supposed to do it without that or what. Now it actually goes in the... Actually goes in there though. This would probably be much easier from the passenger side. Just saying. If you're gonna do it, don't hook up five cameras and try to do it from the driver's side. See now. Yeah. One, one, two, three, four. And this will always return to one, two when you put it in neutral. It always returns to one, two. That's reverse. That's two, one. Two. Yeah. So it does have a little bit of adjustment um, in the bottom here. But I can get, if I can grab all four gears. And uh, I think we're good. I just want to get them tight. Tighter. That front one is tricky. There we go. And there you go. 
So that's the shifter in. I'm gonna have to find out about that spacer because uh, I feel like they wouldn't make something that nice if you didn't need it. So I don't know, but now it's grabbing the gears before it was too short. So let's, uh, let's jump in there. We'll take it for a ride and see how she does. Well, I already like the feel of that. Oh man, it's so, sh it's so sharp and precise. Oh man, that is so nice. You see how it just barely comes back to right here? It's not coming all the way back to the seat. That's so great. Ooh, ooh, that's reverse. It's gonna take a little getting used to, I think. It's two. Three takes a little bit of work. Cause you gotta overcome the uh, springs down there. The, you know, it's got like a, a double detent to get it into gear. Second to third is so short. It's almost too short. Like you almost feel like going from that stock shifter, you feel like uh, you're not in gear. But yeah, third gear, third gear takes a little work. Let's see. Make sure that door is closed. Ooh, see? I think it I keep trying to go into reverse. in the one two pattern so or gate I guess it's kind of a gated shifter uh, so when you let go the springs push it back to one two that's awesome yeah this plus that mid mount oh solid plus it looks cool <laughs> Nice big billet shifter, carbon fiber. That gold accent down at the pivot is super nice. So you just have to take it out of gear and it'll fall right into that one too. Third gear feels a little far away. It's tricky because you gotta like pop, pop, and then it's in here. Pretty nice though. Overall, I'm happy. They make a, a high quality product, I would highly recommend it. <laughs> yeah, that's good stuff. You got the black bomba shifter and you've got the vintage speed the other one it, it was okay this is probably closer to the black mamba um, which I've, I've used in a bug i've not felt it in a bus 
uh, but I imagine it's the same, just a little bit taller. Uh, this feels more like that, you know, very solid, very precise. Like you know exactly that you're going in in gear. Uh, so that's, you know, it's it's worth it for what it is. You get a lot of shit for the money. So you can uh, make the little minor adjustments. Like there is reverse. That's gonna take some getting used to. There's no reverse lockout at all. Uh, there's no push down, there's no pull up like vintage speed. It's just all the way over and back is reverse. I'm used to all the way over and back being second. You know, but second is, is just straight down almost from third. So I'll have to figure it out a little bit. Making those downshifts. Yeah, see it's hard to find second. That's a, that might be a problem. It doesn't even have the little finger on that ball. Like the stock one has that little finger that you gotta push down to get around it. You know, the little ramp on the plate. This doesn't have any of that. It's just a ball. You know, there's no there's no keeping you out of reverse when you go from third to second. That, you know, that's, that could be a deal breaker for some people. I guess I'll learn it or I'll blow up the purse at 50 miles an hour. installed it's a cool rides custom bus shifter this one is the uh, it's called the nugget because it's got that little gold on the pivot there uh, I'll throw a link down below you can find it otherwise had a good time hit that subscribe button ring that little bell for me tell a friend thanks for watching <laughs>